Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and of course one of the big questions that I got several times when we're thinking of the future of Windows and thinking that possibly there could be a Windows 12 for example in 2024. The big question that a lot of you have asked is, is that going to be the official version that's going to actually dump the control panel? And no, and I'm sure it's still going to be there. Uh, the reason is there's just too much in here. It's this would be a major change. You, you would they would have to work really hard and changing the settings app and incorporating everything that's still left in the control panel. Now I do agree with a lot of you that you know it's either they, they should either have a settings app or a control panel, but decide which one. The control panel has one advantage for all the settings that are left is that if you've been using Windows for a long time, uh, you still have the security of knowing where things are and where to change some of the settings. You know, slowly things are changing. So slowly when you go on some of the different options, it brings you to another place. So you might go to programs and features and you have the different options, the different software installed here. But, you know, you have apps also in Windows. And there are things that it will bring you to some of the old settings. There are things that it's going to move you into the settings app. So this is all uh, dependent on, um, you know, how and which setting they have moved. There's even more settings in Windows 11 that bring you to the settings app because there's more settings in Windows 11 that have been added and modified and included. But yet, uh, Control Panel is here to stay. And uh, as long as Microsoft doesn't actually do a complete overhaul, and what is a complete overhaul? It means they start rewriting Windows from scratch. There always will be a Control Panel. It is also important in some aspects for some legacy apps. You know, Microsoft is uh, stuck in a way with all sorts of old things that need to run. Um, you know, that has been why Windows also was often favored by businesses, is the fact that they would have a new version of Windows that often would still have the stuff from the past working which is not the case on Apple. Now, Apple had so many versions that they did over the years that they just scrapped the past and said, "We're, you know, you got to move on to the new stuff now. And um, when I was a tech guy, a couple of changes when they were using uh, PowerPC CPUs rather than Intel, they moved to Intel. They supported a little bit for a while the old stuff, but at one point they just put the line and they said, look, we're moving on. And it's interesting how people... Because, you know, I had people complain about that. They weren't happy about it, to, uh, that Apple had done that because a lot of their software and hardware stopped working. But it's interesting how people criticize a lot less what Apple does than Microsoft. And this has always been the case, which is kind of interesting. Um, you know, when we talk about fanboys of different products, uh, it's like the Linux fanboy base. Um, you know, they're in their little world. And they do not understand the world of the standard people because they're kind of minded that I don't know why people are using Windows because this does it all. It doesn't do it all for some people and it is dreadfully difficult for most people to use. Uh, anybody that says, you know, oh, it's simple. Yeah, because you're doing nothing with your PC. I'm sorry if you're on Linux and you're just, you know, basic Linux user. Uh, you're just doing the basic stuff, going on the internet, checking email, not much more. Yeah, that works. But once you want to have something more, you got to have that dreaded, you know, terminal or, you know, all sorts of cryptic command lines that you have to, to do. And no, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, stop thinking it is. So, you know, it's, there's a lot going on in there. And Windows is, is dominant and it's going to stay dominant. It is the business world for the most part. And it's going to stay dominant, um, you know, with all the rest around it. But the control panel, you know, unless they rewrite, completely rewrite Windows, forget it. 
it's here to stay. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.